Hey my baby, so we getting straight into this wig install. Today I'm using Red by Kiss wig cap. And usually when I do my wig install, I pick a darker color than my skin tone. Girl, look at my ass. I'm jamming to Lucky Days over. That song just hit every time I hit that shit. My little ass be on TikTok entirely too much. But anywho, when I get this brand of wig caps, I make sure I grab the ones that have about five in there and only cost $1.99. That's not bad at all. You can get it at your local beauty supply store. And it's definitely worth the money. Now we're about to get into the wig cap method. Don't laugh at my braids. I'm not a professional. I do work for me. Anywho, before I put the cap on, I always make sure I put scalp protector on my hairline because that really helps prevent bumps coming across my hairline. If you don't know, that adhesive glue sometimes creates bumps and it ain't pretty. Okay, so I'm about to get into how I do my wig cap method. It's no different than other people's, but I'm just gonna show you guys what I do. Now, of course, if you don't know, you just cut the holes out and that really helps lay the wig cap down so it can be flat. That's the purpose of cutting the ears out. So you get that wig cap as flat as you can. I'm not pulling that shit over my eyes. I, I don't do that. I haven't ever done that. I don't know, it's just weird. I feel like it's just too much. It just don't work for me. Now y'all know this ain't nothing new. I use the bow hold. Okay, that's what I always do. But as I'm doing a wig cap method, you see that I'm placing marks on my cap so I know where I'm going to put the glue at. And I do that to properly place the glue onto the cap right so I won't get it onto uh, my edges. And that's very important to help prevent pulling your edges out. When, you, um, when it's time to remove your wig. Marking your wig cap is not a must, but it definitely helps to do a proper way of a wig cap because putting the dots help, you know, kind of give like a guideline of how you want to place the glue onto your cap. And as you see, that's what I'm doing. Just playing connect the dots, that's all. And it's just easy. After playing connect the dots, you have to smooth down the glue. If you don't smooth down that glue, girl, it's just going to become a whole lumpy mess. The glue will literally dry how it is, and it won't even turn clear. So smooth out the glue so you can help secure your wig cap down. Also, when I do the wig cap method, I don't use too much glue because I'm only securing the wig down. Sometimes you got to know less is the best because when it comes to making sure you protect your edges, you're not trying to use too much of that. The next step is just very simple. You just blow dry it until it's clear and dry. And that's how you know you're ready to start cutting the wig cap. And that's what you're about to watch me do now. Okay, so I'm back now, and obviously it's time to put the makeup on the wig cap. Now, I use powdered foundation, and I make sure the color is lighter than me, and also lighter than the wig cap. I don't know why I started doing this, but when I discovered using this method, it makes everything blends in so well. It blends in so perfectly when I put that wig on my head. Now, I need to clean up the hairline with some alcohol because... Powder foundation can get a little messy and you don't want to mess up the lace on the wig. I just wanted to come in and show y'all what I use to tint my lace. I use a medium brown, a tinting lace spray, and it works well. You get it from your beauty supply stuff. Girl, I don't know what it is that has this lace just blend in so well with my skin. I don't know if it's the tinted spray or the method that I use with my wig cap method, but everything just works out well. Now, just like what I did with the wig cap method, I'm doing the same thing so I know how to properly place down the lace on my forehead. Now, this step you don't have to do. 
I'm only showing you guys a proper way how to install your wigs because I know there's a lot of girls out there who have trouble with installing their wigs. So if you're that individual that's just don't do well with installing your own wigs, doing this method can help because it's just a guideline to just show you how and where to place your wig at. Now, like what we did before with the wig cap method, we're just playing connect the dots where we're gonna place the glue at. That's all, so just watch me while I work. What's up babies and we're back and as you see it's time to glue down that lace and when you doing this please take your time don't need to rush because we don't want to start over. As you see I definitely like to stretch out my lace while I'm placing um, it down on a glue. I don't know why but I know I like how it looks it gives me a natural facelift. You see the my eyebrows? That's how you know you're installing your wig right when you're starting to get a facelift while you're doing it. If you ain't got a facelift, sweetheart, you ain't doing it right, just like Tay said. As you're doing this process, it's definitely good to blow dry as you go so you know that your lace will not move and that motherfucker is secured. And you can move on to the next side knowing that your lace ain't going nowhere. As you about to see, I'm doing right now because I'm about to give myself an extra, extra facelift. Watch me while I work. So I just got done blow drying the lace. Now it's time to make sure this lace is extra, extra secure and you have to tie it down with an elastic band. I know my elastic band is a little dirty. I do put on a lot of wigs and that is just extra glue. But you have to make sure your elastic band is overly tight to the point you feel like your brain is gonna pop out your shit, okay? That's how you know that this wig, this lace is gonna be down secured and I have nothing to worry about. Um, when I tell y'all I just came back in from carrying a huge ass kitchen table into my crib. As soon after I, that clip, after I put the elastic band on, I had to bring a kitchen table into my crib. And it took about an hour. Then there too. And when I tell y'all I was sweating. And then end up sweating my lace out. All that hard work I just showed y'all, my lace ended up coming up, lifting up because I carried in a heavy ass kitchen table. You could tell on my face I was irritated. I was not feeling my hairstyle anymore. I was just done and over with the video. And I just did not know what to do because it's like the lace don't look good. My hair not looking good. I wasn't feeling good. I wasn't feeling this shit, but I did not give up. As you see, I changed my hair around and I'm killing shit. So thank y'all for watching. This is how I install my wigs. And come back again. Like, comment, and subscribe. Bye, my babies. Hey.